everyone. Welcome back to Homegrown Passion. Today's video is going to show you the concrete pour here, the project we've been talking about getting done and getting the pads done for the uh, wood miser and for my van. So stay tuned. So I'm going to show you some of the videos I took yesterday of everybody pouring the concrete. Tony, who is a friend of ours that lives here in the township, has poured almost all the concrete here on the farm for us. He couldn't get any helpers. So you're going to see three 60-year-old something men working on this concrete pad. It's amazing how much work they got done yesterday in a short amount of time. We got this pad done here. It's 40 by 16, and this is going to be for the wood miser. And you can tell it's over here by the wood burner. So the wood miser is about 31 feet long. So Doug made the pad a little bit bigger so we can store some wood down there so we can feed our big beast over there because you know how much wood that thing consumes. And um, he's going to do a door on this end also to be um, about 20 feet, I think it is, is the size of the logs that he can put on the wood miser. So he can just bring the skidster up and load them right up on the wood miser and start cutting them. And, He's going to frame up the garage over there, and I'm going to go over and show you that pad next. So here's the pad for the garage, and we've got a little bit of a smoother finish on it, so it's easier for me to sweep up. 
The van is 20 feet long, so we did the garage 24 by 24, and so I have a little bit of extra space to store boxes and different things in because it gets a little too crowded over there in the head house. And Doug's going back and forth on what to put on here. He was part of the Timber Framers Guild for years, so he loves to do his timber frames. So he's thinking about maybe doing a salt box, then he's thinking about something else with an attic trusses, so not sure what he'll do. He just keeps going back and forth, but we'll keep you uh, posted on that. But it's so nice to have these done. Had a beautiful day yesterday to work on these. It was what, October 11th. It was like 70 degrees and sunny. Couldn't ask for a better day to pour concrete. So you can see the forms are still on here. They're going to be pulled off tomorrow. Tony's coming back to uh, do the saw cuts on everything. And in the meantime, you know, we have to let it sit for a while to harden up. In the meantime, then, Doug's going to be cutting the wood to build the uh, garage here. He's going to get his cut list together once he decides what kind of building he's going to do. And we'll go from there. So back here in the weeds that have died off are some cans that Doug had cut a year or so ago. They don't look too happy right now, but once Doug gets them back on the mill and resurfaces them and get them all straight, they're going to be really nice timbers to do for the garage and his uh, lean-to for his wood miser. Most of this wood, I should say all of this wood, is from the farm here that he's pulled out of the river or down trees. He doesn't cut any uh, live trees down. Cuts them and gets them ready for his next project. I hope you guys liked today's video. A little bit different than what we usually do with the hydroponic, but we decided we might as well show you guys everything that we do around the farm here. For us, it's really interesting, so we hope you think it is too. I do have some hydroponic stuff coming up. I've been doing some seeding and getting the greenhouse ready to go. So that'll be in the future here. I'm excited about getting the greenhouse going again. I really miss it. And so stay tuned for that. So leave me any questions, comments, and suggestions down below, and we'll see you guys next video.